Hey guys, this is Shelby with the Roger Public Library. So this week for a full steam ahead, I want to talk to you guys about giraffes, right? So giraffes are native to Africa. Um, there are giraffe, giraffes live all over the, the continent, right? Um, and there's kind of a, there's not exactly a scientific consensus on how many giraffe species there are. For a long time, we thought there was just one and there was nine different subspecies. Um, but there is new evidence that's kind of that's arisen recently. It says there's actually four different species of giraffe, um, and those are Giraffa camelopardalis, um, and then G reticulata, G giraffa, and G um, tibbleskirchi. Right? Um, and so the different species of giraffes live in different regions of Africa. Right? They don't all mix together. Um, and they are even-toed ungulates. So what an ungulate is, it's a mammal that has hooves, like a cow or like a pig or like a deer. Um, and even toed means that they have two toes, right? Kind of like you can see on this. Um, I don't know if you can see it really well on this picture, um, but yeah, a little, a little bit, it's just not really, um, it, they blend in a little bit, right? They have really good camouflage through the, their spots. Right, um, and that is one of the main things you'll notice about giraffes, right, is they have these really cool um, spot patterns, right, and they're unique. Every single giraffe has an, its own unique pattern, um, and you can use that to identify them, right? Um, and actually, there's um, this uh, a legendary creature from um, China. This is called a killin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but actually, there was a giraffe that was sent to Imperial China in the 15th century. Um, and when the emperor saw it, he said, oh, that, that's a, that's a killing, right? Um, and so like a giraffe, it has horns on its head, right? Giraffes don't have horns. They have these little bump things. Um, and then it has scales, right? And if you didn't, if you didn't see a giraffe up close, if you just saw it from a distance, then you might think that these geometric patterns are scales, right? Um, and giraffes also showed up in a lot of medieval European um, art and literature, right? Um, they actually show up in legends about King Arthur, right? But they're not called giraffes, they're called questing beasts. Um, and then sometimes they're called um, camelopardals, just like the Latin name, right? Because they said it's a little bit like a camel, it's a little bit like a, uh, like a leopard, right? And so you add the two. This is one illustration, and this is one that I showed you guys last week, right? Um, a really funky one where it actually has camel bumps, right? Um, the other main thing about giraffes you might notice is they have really long necks, right? And in fact, um, their necks make them the tallest land mammals, right? So male giraffes can be up to 20 feet tall and female giraffes can be up to 16 feet tall. And actually when baby giraffes are born, they can be up to six feet tall, which is taller than most fully grown um, humans, right? Um, and their, giraffe, their necks also mean they weigh a lot, right? They can weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Um, and they have really um, long legs and really long, uh, strong hooves. Um, and so there's not a lot of things that like to eat giraffes, right? Um, they're kind of scary and intimidating. Um, but the one thing is that um, even though their necks can help them out, right? They let them eat uh, leaves from trees that other animals can't reach. And they help them, um, they help them see predators on the savannas where they live, right? They're these big, broad, flat plains. Um, there are downsides, right? One of them is that when a giraffe goes to a watering hole, um, it's really vulnerable because it has to bring its neck down. I um, mean, sometimes crocodiles will attack giraffes at watering holes, and sometimes lions will attack giraffes at, at watering holes as well, right? Um, so our craft is we're going to be making a giraffe. Um, there's a couple steps to this. The first is I got this picture that I, I showed you a little bit ago, right? And I used, I traced an outline, right? Um, and then once I trace the outline, I, I got these squares. I cut them out of construction paper, brown construction paper, and I glued them down with a glue stick. So this is really easy to do, right? Um, got that one. That one. And there isn't really a, a right or wrong way to do this, you know. You just gotta... Um, them on there and they'll make a cool pattern you don't even have to um do it this way right where i'm i'm using the outline to kind of figure out where i want the shape you can also glue them to the back piece of the paper um and you'll end up with a little bit of a different design right you might end up with some um squares in weird places but it'll look cool okay
And then, of course, giraffes, um, they have spots on their legs, but it's kind of hard to cut through the squares. So I'm not going to put any down there. I'm also not going to put any on, their, on its head. Um, well, maybe I will. Okay, now I have the um, you know, little square on his head as well. And then I'm just going to cut around the outline. And you, you may want to, um, all right, so around the head and then around the legs, there are a lot of really fine details. You might want a grown up to help you with that part in case you're just not um, super confident that you're cutting around, along the right line or you think you might mess it up. All right, there we go. Um, so there's still there's still a little bit of paper between the legs. Um, that's just kind of hard to it's uh, it'll, it'll take a really long time to get those out and, and make them look nice. But that's a giraffe. Um, and then if you want to, you can glue it onto a piece of paper. Um, and it does blend in a little bit, right? It, it's um, spots give it kind of a, a camouflage um, the same way that you see on this side, right? Um, this one looks a little bit different because um, I did not print it out in color. I didn't use construction paper to print the giraffe out, right? I printed it out on plain white paper like this one. Um, and then I just colored in it. So you can do that. You can even also, you can color the spots in if you don't want to um, go all the squares down. So there's, there's a lot of different fun things you can do with the giraffe. Um, but that's what I have for you guys this week. So I hope you had fun and I'll see you next Monday.